Hi, I'm James Rogers. Today I'm going to talk about common English family names in the US, UK, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and Ireland. So before I get started, um, let me give you a quick introduction to why I'm making this video. First of all, knowing names is really basic knowledge. We learn them in school by our classmates' names, um, in our neighborhoods, by our neighbors' names, and via family and friends. But this information is not taught in ESL textbooks usually. So many students lack basic knowledge before they go abroad. And this can be quite embarrassing if you mispronounce or misspell a really common name. Also, it shows your lack of international experience. So what I did was to create these lists, I looked at data from the most common names in those countries and I took only the top 50 and I put them all into one list. Now, some names only occur in particular countries and for those I pointed out. For example, Canada has many names with French origin, but those names don't occur in other English speaking countries so often. Also, I do list some common spelling variations, but not all because there are too many. Um, especially Irish origin names with Mick or Mac, or names that have an O, and this is also Irish origin starting with an O. Um, but sometimes the O is dropped because of discrimination that Irish immigrants faced when they first came to America. For example, during the potato famine a long time ago, many were poor, so they worked for a low salary and the other Americans felt they were taking their jobs. And thus there was discrimination if you had an Irish sounding name. So some people actually changed their names to avoid that discrimination. However, that's only in the past now. In fact, now there are more Irish Americans than people in Ireland. Like myself, I Rogers is an Irish name. Um, most English names actually have either German or Irish origins. You know, the royal family in the UK, this is a, they have a German origin. Um, I've also included some details about names that are from recent immigration and what country these occur in. For example, because there are so many Mexican immigrants in America or Mexican Americans, um, there are a few of those names in the lists. Also, places like New Zealand have experienced a surge in immigrants from China and India, so some of those names got into their top 50 as well. Okay, so let's get into the list. I'm just going to pronounce the names, and if there's any special points, I'll just mention them. Adams. Allen. Anderson. Baker. Belanger. Okay, so as an American, a lot of these names are quite difficult for me to pronounce as well um, because the French spelling uh, is very different from the actual pronunciation. So as you can see on the bottom there, that's a name that commonly occurs only in Canada. Bell. Bergeron. So this is also in Canada, but this one is actually pronounced as it's spelled. Bouchard, Boucher, Brennan, Brown, Burke, Burn, Campbell, Carroll, Carter, Chen. So um, this is a Chinese name, and there's lots of Chinese immigrants in New Zealand now. So it is a very common Chinese name. So uh, most immigrants that come to New Zealand have that name, and that's why I got into New, New Zealand's uh, top list. Clark. So this one has uh, two alternative spellings. Both are pretty common. Collins. Connolly. So again, this is a really common Irish name, um, but because there's so many Irish Americans, it's basically a very common American name as well. And you're going to see lots of those in the lists. Cook. Cooper. Coteau. Daly. Davies. Davis. 
Doherty, Doyle, Duffy. Now this one's only in Ireland. I, I've actually I've I've never met anyone with that last name. Don, Edwards, Evans, Farrell, Fitzgerald, Flynn. Okay, fourteen. Okay, so this one's a tough one. Um, we do have a name, Gagney, in America. So many Americans would mispronounce it as Gagney. Um, but this name is actually pronounced Gagnier with the proper French pronunciation. Another one, Gagnon. Gallagher. Garcia. So that's a Spanish origin name. Gautier, Gonzalez, again Spanish, Green, Hall, Harris, Harrison, Hernandez, again Spanish, Hill, Hughes, Jackson, James. Um, that's my name, my first name, James Rogers. So um, please note that in uh, English, there are a few first names that are also last names as well. Um, so James is one of them. Johnson, Johnston, Jones, Cavanaugh, Kelly, Kennedy, King, Kumar. So this is a really common uh, Indian name and there's lots of Indian immigrants in New Zealand. So that's why this name got into their list. Landry. Okay, let's see here. Lavoie. Leblanc. Lee. Lebec. Louis. Lee. So this is another uh, common Chinese family name and because of the immigration to New Zealand. So that's why it's in their list. Lopez, Spanish name. Lynch. McDonald, um, McDonald. So there's a slight um, pronunciation difference, um, but both of these, if you say, if you see Mac or Mick, um, this indicates an Irish name. McGuire, and you can see this one changed a little bit. Um, Ma, it became it lost the C, um, but this is also Irish origin. Martin. Martinez, Spanish, McCarthy, McGrath, McLawin, McMahon, Miller, Mitchell, Moore, Morgan, Moan, okay, French origin, Morris, Murphy, Murray, Nelson, Nguyen. Now this one is a Vietnamese family name um, and there's lots of uh, Vietnamese immigrants coming to Australia recently so that's why this name made it into the Australian list. Nolan. Um, this one is particularly common in Ireland. Um, I have, I've never met a... it's a first name in America, but I've never met anyone or heard of anyone with that last name, so maybe not as common. O'Brien. So these are the the other Irish uh, common ways to write names, so either starting with a Mac, Mick, or with an O. And that's what I was talking about. Sometimes the O was dropped and then the person just became the family name Brian. O'Connell. O'Connor. So Connor is a very common family name. Uh, originally, it, it was probably O'Connor, and that family was probably from Ireland, and they changed it at some point because of that discrimination that happened a long time ago that I mentioned before. O'Donnell, O'Donohue, O'Neill, O'Reilly, O'Sullivan, Patel. Now, this is also um, Indian. Um, common Indian name that's 
common in both New Zealand and the U.S. because we've had a lot of immigration from India in recent years from that country. Okay, so Pelletier, Perez, that's Spanish, Phillips, Quinn, Ramirez, that's Spanish as well, Reed, Roberts, Robinson, Rodriguez, also Spanish, Ross, Roy, Ryan, Sanchez, Spanish, Scott, Singh. So notice that the H is silent for this name, um, Indian name, uh, actually common in US, Canada, and New Zealand. Um, lots of immigrants from uh, with this family name that are coming recently. So very common name there. Smith, Stewart, Taylor, Thomas. Again, a first name, but also a last name sometimes. Thompson, Torres. This is also a Spanish name. Tremblay, Turner. Van, Walker, Walsh, Wong. So this is a Chinese name, uh, common in New Zealand because of immigration recently. Ward, Watson, Whalen. This name um, was in the top list for Ireland. Um, there might be a few in America, but I haven't met any or heard the name, so a little bit more rare than some of the other Irish names. White, Williams, Wilson, Long. Okay, so similar, a different spelling. Um, this one came into the list of uh, Canada and Australia. Wood. Right. Uh, just notice that the W is silent in this name. Young. Jean. This one, another uh, Chinese origin name in New Zealand recently. And that is it. So, good luck studying.